Hello minions, Wheezy here again and this is going to be my second weekly update. Let's see if I can stick with this. This week has been absolutely crazy. A lot has gone on um, and so I'm going to kind of just walk you through it um, and just kind of help help catch up with what's go been going on. So we'll just get right into it. Uh, the first thing is, as far as stuff I've actually uploaded this week, on the main channel, uh, nothing really, nothing. So. Did I do, what did, does Why Domination Sucks, was that this week? It was, weekly wrap up. So since the last weekly wrap up, I uploaded a video for Why Domination Sucks in Call of Duty Cold War. Cause guess what, Domination Sucks in Call of Duty Cold War. So go check that out. Everything that I talk about in this, I'm gonna put links down below. Uh, and if I forget something, just call me out in the comments. Um, so yeah, Why Domination Sucks in Cold War, I posted that this week. There's another video that I'm working on. Um, I was really hoping to get it uploaded today, and I may still later today, but that means it won't go live until Saturday or Sunday. Um, but uh, let's forget that. Let's talk about what I have uploaded. <laughs> so we're gonna. I'm gonna go ahead and pull over um, my screen here real quick. Uh, no, not that one. We are gonna grab my Chrome screen, and we're gonna go to uh, my channel, and we're gonna switch over to. Is this looking at? Okay, there we go. Let's transition over. All of that. I'm gonna maybe I'll cut that. <laughs> okay, so here is. Oh, can I do? Oh, I need to. I need to include where I can put my face on this too. Um, things to be done in the future. So here's the channel. Um, new things that I've done. Actually, we're just gonna. You know what? We're gonna do this the right way. We're gonna go to wheezysgaming.com so you guys can see what's new for this week. And uh, actually, I should be able to. Can I add that to, uh, anyway, screw it, we're doing it live. <laughs> okay, so we added two episodes of Jedi Fallen Order. I say two, clearly there's four here, uh, but that's because there's the cinematic and the story time. So two new episodes, episodes 13 and 14 of Jedi Fallen Order have been posted. Um, so those are up and you can access those. I'll put links down below, but you can access them on the channel through my playlists tab, you'll see that you've got all my playlists. So we've got Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Cold War, Jedi Fallen Order. So if you go to these uh, playlists, you will see, oh, that's gonna click right on that. But if you go to the actual playlist page itself, I will link down below. All right, great, we got it, stop. Uh, you'll see all these here. And so the new ones are in here as well. Um, so that's how you get to those. Otherwise, look at the links in the description down below. Also on the main homepage here, when you're just browsing the channel, you'll see my uploads. Um, I put the Cold War playlist up here, Modern Warfare. Created playlists are down here too. So you can also get through them on the main channel of that. So that is what is uploaded so far this week. I was working on one other video, one of my produced videos. For those who haven't didn't see last week's wrap up, part of what I'm trying to do on this channel is not flood the channel so that when people visit, it doesn't look like a Let's Play channel. So I'm gonna do my Let's Play stuff. You guys can access that through the playlists. Doing more produced content and the stuff that I really wanna do on the channel. Um, and that stuff is what's gonna get posted there. The next thing that I've been working on is a video about d the defensible areas on free for all. So for those of you who uh, saw, or if you haven't seen, I did a video on I did a couple of videos. One was the fastest way to rank up in Call of Duty Cold War, which is free for all. Another one is how to win at free for all. So that one talks about the techniques you can use to do well in the game mode that allows you to rank up as fast as possible in Cold War. This video is in that vein, and it is telling you, uh, showing you the defensible areas in uh, each map uh, in Cold War for free for all. So I'm gonna flip back over here. You'll see that I've pulled captures of each of the maps here, Armada Strike, Cartel. I've got clips lined up. So this video is shaping up to be uh, at least, what is it at right now? 39 minutes, plus I'm gonna have to do an outro. So that is going to be like a 40 minute video, um, which sounds daunting, but in reality, it's about like four to five minutes per map, um, times one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight core Cold War maps. And then I have limited footage, so I only have one clip per map for the three newest ones, Pines, Nuketown, and Raid. Um, so I'll probably do a follow-up video at some point on those, but I posted one clip for each of those, which is between one and two minutes each. So, so that's why it's so long. It's not gonna necessarily be uh, too daunting if you, uh, if you just wanna kind of see the defensible areas on each map. I considered breaking it up into a bunch of individual videos, but you know what? 
If want, people want to learn how to find defensible areas on free-for-all maps, this is the one video for them. So all I've got to do, if you get, we'll go back to it, I've got the um, structure of the video laid out, right? I've got all the clips picked and laid in the timeline. So all I've got to do is record my audio voiceover commentary, which will take me about 38 minutes if I'm a one take, if I'm a one take master, which I'm not necessarily known to be, but anyway, that's uh, that's coming soon. That'll probably be up this weekend, and uh, so you can look forward to hearing about that in next week's weekly wrap up. Um, other than that, I haven't done a whole lot of gaming this week because it's been crazy with work stuff. Um, for those of you who don't know, and maybe I'm, I, I keep saying I'm going to do this um, to myself. I don't know if I said it to you, but I'll do a video that's like, hey, I've been on this YouTube channel for like nine or ten years now. You guys might want to know a little bit about me. I work uh, right now as a software consultant for Red Hat, so that's my day job. And um, I'll talk about that in another video and kind of give you guys an idea about what I've done. It's been a, been a long road for me. Um, that said, work has been kind of crazy this week, so that's why it's limited on this stuff here. And uh, But I will show you something else I've been working on that's in that vein. Um, let me pull it up here. I have this, I have mentioned this before, way back in the day, um, but some people may not know this. I uh, created, when I capture video, um, and actually I'll even pull OBS over here so you guys can see. I use OBS to capture video, right? And uh, so you can see me, hi. Um, so when I capture video for gameplay and stuff like that, I have to be able to uh, organize it because I capture a lot. And if you guys look at like, uh, it won't be good in that, but I've, you know, on like the clips and stuff like that, I've got the stuff that I've captured and these are like, mod you know, they've got uh, labels and stuff like that. Modern Warfare, TDM, AUG, GG is good game. And I also have these clips files that uh, when I'm playing a game, I can uh, just mark when there's something worth keeping in that. Um, so I wrote this software application, since that's kind of what I do as a job, uh, that I call a Weezy's Capture Utility, or Weezy's Video Processor. And um, uh, so this is what I've been using for years, literally, to help me keep track of uh, video clips. So I'll select which game I'm playing, and that will determine how it names it. And so like, let's say that I'm playing Cold War, and I'm playing Free For All, then I can put Free For All in the tags here, um, if I want to mark, a, if something happens in a game and I want to mark a clip, then I can click this and it'll put a time code in. Um, this is basing it on when I started recording this. So actually, if you look, it looks for the latest video in my capture directory. So you'll see that down here, I've been capturing this for seven minutes and 50 seconds, right? And this reads the time code off of that. And so I say, hey, something interesting happened at, at this time. So I hit mark clip, boom, 7.59. So this is, this keeps track of that. Um, um, so I've had that for a while, and it's been needing some tweaks and updates. It's been working well enough that uh, I haven't really dicked with it much uh, over the past several years, but I also wanted to rework it into a kind of the new framework. So let me go ahead and kill this. I've been working on a new UI for it and basically just a revamp. I don't want to add a bunch of features to it, um, but fundamentally, I, you know, I like the basic functionality I want to add to it, the ability to clips and the weapons that I'm using and stuff like that. So I've started to mock together a, a replacement for it, which will, you know, obviously it's still very much a work in progress. Um, but let's see, it's going to do more captures and stuff like that. So this will kind of give, allow me a, an updated version of that. I guess I could show you a little bit more in this utility, what it does. So obviously this allows me to manage clips and mark them and stuff like that. I can also manage the games themselves, right? So I can change the title of the game, what prefix it's gonna have, what the icon is that shows up in here. Um, I can manage the games that I have in here. So you can see how far this goes back uh, for what I've done back in Halo 4, Forza Horizon, Medal of Honor Warfighter, all of these are still in here. I've just, you know, they're just displayed and not displayed. So I deactivate the ones that I don't use anymore. Um, and I can reorder them and, you know, so if I want, whatever Jedi fall in order to be above uh, Modern Warfare, right? Then it'll order them the way that I want it. Um, obviously there's some refresh things. Anyway, a little bit of nerd stuff. But that said, I've spent some time doing that this week. So that has taken up a little bit of time as well. And uh, the idea behind that is making that tool more full featured is going to help me more efficiently produce content and stuff in the future. Plus I'm a nerd, so just kind of how I roll. 
All right, that's an awful lot, but that's basically a summary of uh, what's going on this week. So I'm thinking about in the future including more um, update stuff in this, um, meaning like stuff maybe outside of what I'm doing. So if there's like something in gaming media that's been interesting to me, I might include it in here as well. Um, but for now, I just kind of want to keep you guys up to date on what I've been actually doing. So, so that's what it is. Um, if you guys have feedback, this is also the place every week where I'd love to get feedback from you guys, what you want to see, what you're seeing that you don't want to see, what you want more of, what you want less of, you know, someone, part of the reason why I fast tracked, uh, production on this free for all defensible areas video is someone commented on my uh, best strategies for free for all video and actually said I was really hoping that in this video you were going to actually show the places on each map where you could defend and I was like I already had that in mind I was going to do it so you know what fast track so someone put a comment and I fast tracked the video so here it's go. so if you guys have stuff you want to see like I want to see how you juggle hand grenades in cold I don't know if you guys have stuff let me know and I'll see if I can do it and whatever so feedback from you guys is always welcome um, again, links to everything I talked about in the description here. If you want to keep up to date on like everything for me as it comes out, because unlike the YouTube channel where I don't want it to be all spammy, wheezysgaming.com just has everything on the front page right now. So as I post those videos, like all four of those videos for Jedi went up all at the same time because I just uploaded them when I played that. I got like two hours to play Jedi earlier in the week. Um, so I just rendered those videos, uploaded them, and they go live on wheezysgaming.com immediately. And then I will post a, you know, a little quick announcement to the channel that says, hey, there's a new video posted to this playlist, so go check it out. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of how things are going right now. So I will follow up with some more stuff, and, and we're going to keep this train rolling. But uh, yeah, hopefully you guys are uh, getting some value out of this. And uh, I will see you soon, minions. Uh, goodbye.